So we are joined by Ash Scott, the manager of uh, Kingsport Mavs. A good day for you at the office today, wasn't it, Ash? Finally. First W of the season. Uh, <sighs> it took a while to happen, though, didn't it? Because first half, no goals from you guys. A rare first half nil-nil, to be honest. Um, it could have, should have probably been 2-2. We had two one-on-ones, um, hit the post with one, the keeper. I've never seen a keeper save a one-on-one with his backside, but he did. Mad. <laughs> um, and they, had two, they, had, they had two that they should have scored on, and our keeper, um, Ryan Matt, made, some, made two really good saves. Um, but it's a bit of a nothing game. You know, it's raining sideways. They had eight lads about four minutes for kickoff. So. Oh, geez. I'm, I'm sure you were one of only few games going over the weekend. What, what are you saying? Heard of any more? Did the others have a game yeah. more? So theirs is mud. So their ref went down early. I was in. Co- I was. I was at Lingswood at quarter past nine because mm. I had new kits to go out, and I was like, I also want to see what the pitch is like. And I knew from what I'd been told, one of our boys worked with the opposition, and, and they were a bit short players. And you know what it's like when they turn up short players. Games like this, it's like, oh, we're going to try and argue to get it off, are we? Um, yeah. And they were. Yeah. They were sound to be fair. But we'd all do that though, and I'm telling you, you'd do that. I'd do that. We'd all do that. I, I, if, if we were short, I don't get short. To be honest, I don't get short. Uh, we've got two big squads, but um, that sounded like a gloat. It wasn't. That was just, yeah, just the fact of it. But um, Oh, no, I, we've got a better gloat later, mate, that we're going to discuss. I we've was texting their, their referee, <laughs> and he went down to the park early on. So he texted me saying, it's on. Hmm. I'm happy with the pitch. It's all good. Pitch four drains really nice anyway, because it's on a nice slope. Um, have you heard from the opposition? And I'd already heard from from Reese from All Stars. They were already there. They were out warming up apparently when my boys turned up. Um, and then somebody else turned up at Eagle Lane, had water on their pitch, and because mm. of the thunder and lightning, and the fact that they were a senior ref, called off the whole park. Oh, yeah, mud. So my refs confirmed the game's on, and then texted me a little while later saying someone's called it off for me. This is what's gone down. Oh. Race course was off at like half past seven. Refs called the race course off on mass at like half seven. Jeez. So there's really only, what, top six, eight games on today? Well, the thing is, all the private games, sort like a lot of the private ones get called off straight away because groundsmen are really, like, really uh, iffy about it. Yeah. I was worried because we were car park side of Lingswood and because it's like a clay base on the soil, isn't it? So I was worried yeah, about yeah. Sunday more. Um, but actually, the pitch, to be honest, it was the nicest Lingswood pitch I've ever played on because there was actually some some surf, some water in the pitch, a, a nice skid. We had to basically clod one, one penalty spot and that was it. Oh. Huh. Oh, well, it was certainly playable because um, your final score was 4-1 to you guys. A um, couple of quick goals in the second half. Talk us through them. Yeah, first one from a corner, um, it's bouncing around and, and Ben Smith, who's been a revelation to come in. Quick shot on the turn. He will say the goal was stolen. It absolutely wasn't. There was a defender on the left. <laughs> and G taps it in, my skipper, and... He now has the honour of not only being the first person to have scored when we started off as Kingsport Mavericks. He scored against Bowton last year in a pre-season game. That was our first ever goal as, as Kingsport Mavericks. And he's now scored the first ever goal in the Mavericks new kit. Oh, that's that's great, that, isn't it? And I'm sure your socials will make a big deal of that as well. I can see it happening. Yeah. <laughs> um, moving on to the next goal. Um, only a couple of minutes later, wasn't it, this one? Yeah, so they equalised between. So it was like five mad oh. minutes, to not um, so they scored one sort of like one straight ball really and bounced through our midfield, skiddy surface, took it really well, the lad. And then yeah, pretty much straight away we got in. Um I was organizing a sub, missed the kind of pass, mm. and Charles got through and, and having missed a couple in the first half, took it really well, just um sort of shrugged off defender. Um and yeah, just really lashed it through the keeper. So it was, it was yeah, really good finish. Is that the same guy that I saw pre-season, that chap? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, like good it player. pre-season where he misses six goals and, and take, scores the really difficult one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, was the oppos finish like the Haaland goal earlier in the uh, City Arsenal game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of that strike. Yeah, kind of straight, straight, nice, nice straight drive through the ball. Um, the one in the first half, to be honest, he probably took better. He went off the side to his left-hand side and bent it around him and clipped the post. So, yeah, um, probably you get the ones you, you get, don't you? So. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll all take them, mate, won't we? Um, next goal from, uh, as you already said, Ben Smith. Yeah, man. He, he, he's earned it today. Him and in Kiwi who gets the fourth and we'll come on to it. But both work really, really hard. Ben worked, Ben has been 
So he made his debut that that game that you saw in preseason. Um, yeah. Big up front, scored like three minutes into that. Just a real threat, holds it up well, brings lads into play, works his absolute backside off for the team. Hmm. Basically, is just like he could have hit it and it would have hit someone on the back, the back of the head the last few weeks. So for him to get one, um, cut inside really nice and sort of shape it, takes a little nick off the lad and just drops under the bar in the, the far corner. You're like, and and yeah, it was to be honest, we we had controlled the game up to that point. There was hmm. a set off for them as well, and we kind of we'd organised the shape again well, kept the ball really well, and that third goal was what we deserved. And then. Yeah, the one after is just a bonus as well. Yeah, you, you weren't quite finished there, were you? So, uh, no, as well, didn't you? And it, it was a weird kind of frantic kind of game. Um, very spread out, especially after their red card and, and them being short players. And we sort of, we played through that again and, and, and yeah, got into the box well, worked it really nicely down the right-hand side. Cross comes in. And as, a, yeah, Kiwis had probably enough chances to score 10 goals this season and by, by his own admission. <laughs> takes it well and just made it made sure his volley's on target and it kind of he volleys it through the keeper more than sort of over or by him. Um, but yeah, we've been like, we've been like this all season. I've been watching as Miss Chance of Planet. There's a there's a, a lovely clip video I'll send you it because it's hilarious of me from my first game of the season where Charles hits the bar with a header and I literally just fall to the floor like I've got so excited by it. <laughs> it doesn't work. Um, talking about uh, embarrassing moments for yourself, so I'm counting that as one of them. Um, your social media picture, the one with the cigar. Um, explanation needed, I reckon. <sighs> Matt, I brought these cigars back from Puerto <laughs> I am um, like I'm chipping away nicely, um, and it's just been a morning. And you know when you go through the like, is the game on? Isn't it on? Then they've not got players. Then you're trying to organise new kits. So I just at a moment thought, yeah, I'm gonna have a cigar, and I stood there. One of my lads has gone, look at you, kitted up with your car. <laughs> One win, you think you're, you're back on power. And I was like, and before I knew it, the picture was on there. I was like, well, look, I, I'm not going to try and hide it. It is what it is. Um, so I was like, yeah, sound. It'll make it sh- easy for a picture for a while. I'm sure you're going to get a lot of grief about that one because now people have heard about it. Or when, once they've listened to this, they'll hear about it. If they haven't already seen it, it's going to blow up again, isn't it, mate? And you're going to get it already all over again. Oh, um, Absolutely. But well done on the three points. Exactly what you guys needed. Who have you got next week? Well, I, at the minute, it's Hunsby Hawks. I expect there'll be some changes because because uh, of the others' performance, that'll be the home game next week. So it's going to change. So, yeah, we're supposed to have Hunsby and Hartwell um, and then a little bit of a gap into our County Cup second round. So I imagine it'll be a rejingle. There's one team gone in our league already now. So oh, who, you got in, who you got in the Cup? Uh, Hakon reserves away because we play there like 17 times a season and the league thought this was a good start. So. <laughs> it's the look of the draw, mate. Look of the draw. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But appreciate you joining us uh, late on, on a, a Sunday um, and we'll be in contact with you again for your, kind of, your next game. Absolutely, mate. Appreciate cool. it. Really appreciate you being with yeah. us.